boy bands take that. He reinvented himself with an indie solo career and now he's back fresh from winning Celebrity Big Brother with a brand new single. Please give it up for Mark Owen. <laughs> It's good to be here. Tell me, you're back after six... Is it six years? Yeah, about six years now. Why have you chosen now? Well, just so I could come on and see the UK, really, because I've been sat at home for so Doesn't long he say watching all the, the show. Right things? <laughs> I thought I had to come down and get on. No, I think um, just time, and it felt like uh, the right time. And, you know, I've had uh, a bit of time away and managed to do some writing and got the right kind of songs now. And you want to feel as though you're releasing the right kind of material and you feel confident about it. And... Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I'd like to do stuff like Justin Timberlake, really, but I'm not very good at beats and I can't do beatbox, so I couldn't really, uh, <laughs> couldn't really go down that way. So. OK, well, let's take a look. This okay. is the brand new single from Mark Evans. <laughs> Are you still in touch with any of the lads? Yeah, I have, um, over the last kind of year, spoken to them all once or twice and stuff. And uh, I've seen Gaz and Rob quite recently as well, so that's been quite cool. And how is it when you see each other? It's fun. Is I it mean, a lot of reminiscing or is it kind of just chatting about new stuff, really? I think initially it kind of was, but um, but now it's kind of just like what you're up to, really, and, you know, what do you have for breakfast and there. Uh, where are you going tonight and stuff like that. Just normal conversation, really. Yeah. It's kind of quite cool. Because we've heard rumours on the grapevine that Rob's kind of asked you to support at Nebworth. Yeah. Is well, that true? I mean, it, it was kind of... Uh, last time I saw him, we just had an evening and, um, and basically just chatted about everything. And he said, oh, why don't you come down and perform? And I was like, OK, well, all right, yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah, but maybe, I don't know. I've not spoke to him since, so I don't know. I you think it's just kind of got, it. got a bit blown out of proportion. Do you think any um, new boy bands that are coming through will have the success of Take That? I don't know. Um, I, quite, I, I went to watch Busted the other week because they're on the same record <laughs> label as me. So I was jumping up and down, I spiked my hair and everything. I was like, <laughs> and, uh, and, and also I saw um, Triple Eight. I thought they were quite... Uh, Quite bit edgy, powerful, a yeah. Bit edgy, and they were they were quite good, you know. The, the the music business now is very kind of you know kind of cutthroat really, and you don't always last as long as, especially a lot of the new bands don't get the, the kind of chance to develop. We were lucky in our days; it wasn't quite so fast. Yeah. And uh, but now it's a lot faster. So. Because uh, what did your first single go in at, at when you first didn't take that? Um, eighty three. So we sat at home, we were in a, our manager's van, and we listened to the charts, and it got to number two, and we thought we'd gone in at number one. <laughs> and we were jumping up and down because we didn't get midweeks because they didn't have a record label, and we thought we'd gone in at number one, and we couldn't believe it when it was somebody like, I don't know, probably Extreme or something. You probably don't know much. <laughs> I but remember we were them, gutted. I'm an We album. really thought we'd gone in at number one. Right? Did yes, you? Straight in. You must have been gutted. Yeah, and then we found out the next day it was 83, so we thought, it's going to be a bit of hard work, this, I think. S Club have now split up. What would you say to them in terms of breaking through and going solo and all that kind of stuff. Um, Would you give them any advice? No, I think it's probably better to ask Rob. <laughs> I think that would be a better thing to do, really. Um, no, but um, I think I think just try and be yourself and do um, whatever kind of music kind of pleases you, really, and, and go for it. Don't be afraid to kind of go for it, really. Yeah. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for it's coming on the show. It's really nice to see you, and I hope good you come on and perform soon. We will Ladies do. and gentlemen, Mark Owen. Yeah. <laughs> OK, moving on, a man who wrote his first song when he was just six years old. It's Daniel Beddingfield.